Welcome to another bi-weekly meeting of the Massachusetts Pirate Party. Um, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, today, a uh, small crew here, uh, uh, Treasurer uh, Joseph Onorowski and First Officer Steve Revelak um, are here. I'm James O'Keefe, uh, Captain of the Pirate Party. Um, it's been a quiet period um, because of, you know, holidays and everything, but we're getting back in and uh, we'll start this meeting off. Um, we have these every two weeks, so the next one will be scheduled for January um, 26th. Um, so with that, uh, you should be able to see our agenda here. Um, starting with reports, um, I literally, as captain, have, have nothing to report other than uh, that we uh, had a discussion about um, uh, public domain day that happened. Um, I guess we'll, when we post this, we'll, we'll link to um, our uh, you know, we'll link to that video as well. And we had a post about that. And unfortunately, it's the 10th anniversary of Aaron Schwartz's death. And we had a post about that as well. Um, on that, I, I don't have anything to report. I have people I need to call. How long has Julian Assange been Julian Assange? I mean, how long? How long has twelve years, right? At least has it been twelve years? And and Snowden's been now a while, and yet still we haven't done anything about that which they brought up. I mean, yeah. I, both of those things we've been, we've brought up over the years, but um, well, I mean the the root issue, you know, the in same. terms of the surveillance state. See or the illegal invasions. Why can't we have both? <laughs> well, we already have both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've commented on both those. But is there anything to report from either of you? Uh, on a national level, we've had some discussions about some action items that we're doing, but nothing. Uh, super serious. I think we're mainly trying to steal out of our own playbook here in Massachusetts. Um, as far as Treasury goes, I do have reports that I still haven't finished and probably not going to get done this week, but I'll have to get them done first thing next week um, for the OCPF. Okay. Office yeah, of we... Campaign and Political Finance. Yes, said it right this time. Yes. Um, and I'll get those done and call them up and beg for their forgiveness. Oh, I mean, they they responded with what we need to do to fix the reports. Yeah, I just I have to sit down and do it. Okay, I mean, so. I, yeah, I, I I I can probably do it this week. I know you're busy. Um, um I'm, I'm and then maybe you and I can sit down and just go through it like the report one final time and make sure it's fine and then file it. So. Yeah, I. You know, it's more or less just something. I, I, I know what needs to be done. I just have to do it. Okay. Um, but there's also national treasury stuff I need to get done as well. So, right. you know, I so really this is more of an apology. But I will get that done for all of our constituents as soon as possible. Great. And as always, if, if you want to help Joe with his task of um, organizing our finances, Please send us an email at info at masspirates.org. Uh, or help me do a fundraiser. That's even better. Money. Uh, you can donate to us at masspirates.org. So, Steve, as first officer, do you have anything to report? I have nothing to report uh, this time around. All righty then. All right. Um, um, decisions. Well and endorsements would be next. Are there any U.S. Pirate Party issues that that we need to address, Joe? 
Um, actually, can we go back to reports real quick? Uh, yeah, we, sure. Before we came live, uh, me and Mr. O'Keefe were discussing our representative. And so we add an item action list as the for me to re reach out to Misty and try and get make sure that Misty gets on board with uh, coming and attending the meeting that she was elected for. Great. So. Thank you. I know it's it's a new thing in the holidays, you know, get in the way and work gets in the way. And so, you know, once, once everyone's in, you know, in the groove, I'm sure it'll all go great. Thank you, Joe. Um, but any any U.S. Pirate Party issues we should address? Well, are there any questions? Are there, are there any things coming down the pike that we that you and Misty, uh, Misty and you should get feedback on? Um, actually, I kind of opened up a can of worms um, on the whole um, on policy when it comes to the plank committee platform committee as far as the gun debate so it seems that we have a lot of um different takes on how we should be doing guns and how we should be regulating guns and how we should be discussing guns so i would very much if you have an opportunity to go on to the discord onto the platform committee and give your two cents I would appreciate that from every one of our constituents. I am a strong supporter of regulation, but at the same time, I am I am a strong supporter of one's right to carry and bear arms. So uh, take that as you will. If you have a different opinion, I would love to hear it. And um, definitely a huge can of worms, but something that a conversation, a hard conversation we need to have. And I feel like as so many times, when we have hammered it, something out, the world takes notice. So uh, this is a conversation that we need to have because it's a serious, a serious issue across the United States. So. And for those watching, um, we will put a link. You, you, you can go to uspirates.org and there'll be a link to the Discord uh, and you can go and join that. There is a Massachusetts channel um, that folks can can talk on. There's also our activist email list. Uh, there's there's other places to discuss as well. Okay, uh, so nothing else from U.S. Pirate Party, Joe. Um, those are the two big things. Uh, I know we're still working on that um, that particular issue. At least last week, I wasn't able to attend the meeting last week, but um, there's always plenty of roles and shoes to fill on the national level. So um, just like there's plenty of things to do here. Um, so that being said, as far as decisions, and uh, I know the, the two-way thing is kind of a big topic, and um, they're trying to also sweep under the rug the whole women's right to choose. I know that in Massachusetts, it's kind of one that we won, but there's a lot of places where, um, I think, what was it, Alabama? If you get caught with birth control, you face major fines and possible jail time for having birth control. I need to double check this now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing that the stupidity... <laughs> these things okay um yeah i mean we we do i believe we do have a uh policy on a platform on plank on uh that topic right it's the reproductive freedom is a human right uh okay so july 3rd 2022 alabama governor um, signed a law making a crime punishable up to 10 years in prison to send certain medications. Oh, so that, that's not necessarily the pill. That's more like the morning after pill. 
Yeah, I believe so, but I mean, it's still birth control. No, I mean, yeah, don't, don't disagree with you on that. Um, I guess this happened months ago, but still absolutely terrible. Like, oh my God, there was a comedian that said, why are, why are the people on the right complaining? All the people that would be born would be on the left. Yeah, I had a I, I had a great quote on um, you know <clears throat> um, actually I got the quote wrong. Yeah, it's like something like they will they will look for you know. Um, they will look for pedophiles and sexual harm to young people everywhere except where it actually exists. <laughs> Which is a quote by trauma therapist um, Ross Palethorpe, uh, which is on, which blog was it on? It was on the What a Hell of a Way to Die blog. Um, that was good. Uh, speaking of another personal autonomy, bodily, bodily autonomy issue. Uh, um, <clears throat> um, but anyways, uh, all right. So, um, with that, why don't we move on to projects? Um, so we have the party conference scheduled for the 21st of January. And I regret to say that amidst all of my other duties, I have not promoted that one iota. Um, I'm sorry for that. Um, but uh, sorry, you're saying, Joe? Yeah, I interrupted you. I apologize. No, no, um, say what you say. Were we having that up in Lowell? I believe that was going to be online this time. Uh, we would try. Reason, we would look for the Lowell one at the subsequent one. I had like it in my. Yeah, I had it in my log that it was in Lowell, which I'm completely fine with us using that space uh, that we brought to. But I want to prep it a little bit more. Actually, put in benches and chairs, and you know, or at least the lifetime tables, lots of lifetime chairs. What I was going to suggest was to push it back one month. And I regret this, but we haven't advertised it at all. And uh, it's basically about a week away. Well, I've been completely fine with that, Steve. Uh, likewise, also fine with it. So in terms of dates, um, Well, we literally make it the 21st, but one month from now. The 25th, then? Or the 18th of February? I would say... Mm -hmm. I would say the 18th works better for me. I'm fine either one. 18th it is then. Thank you for understanding. Um, okay, so then the next email, which will go out, um, knowing me, it'll probably get written on this weekend. Uh, which is hopefully for many people a long weekend, as Monday is Martin Luther King Day. Um, that will get out, and uh, we will ask people what they want to discuss and remind them to sign up. Um, all right. So next up is local outreach. Um, I think our, our activism director should uh, head that up. 
and um, dutifully tell all of us to call people <laughs> and organize uh, a we pirates. Can um, we get? Um, I'm sorry, I forgot who the activism director is. Uh, our activism director is um, is Scott Br uh, Brodsky. Is there any chance that we can reach out to Scott and have him attend one of Yari's civvy like IT meetings in order to get him up to speed on blasting the emails and contact info? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can, um, I can show him how to how to use it as well. So, I, what I, I will take on the task of of reaching out to him. Uh, finding out also with Elijah to see who's our PR media director to see what dates um, work for them because Thursdays may not work for them. Um, Thursdays at 9 p.m., which is when we would usually meet as we are now. Um, and also to see if, uh, you know, Scott can lead that effort up. I am completely fine with changing these meetings now to any day that would work best for everybody else. So, at least right now, my availability is exceptionally open. You know, that is subject to change as it gets warmer out, but um, I'm hoping this year I'll be able to build a complete crew so that my main source of income will be um, much more self-regulated i know that i am still in the process of rapid expansion but it's uh you know good problems to have so things are looking on the up and up for me and which mean, hopefully i'll be able to dedicate a lot more time to our political endeavors and thus if everything goes according to plan for the remainder of this year um I'll be looking in a good place to focus a lot more into our, our political affiliations and hit a lot more of that outreach. Great. How are you, Misty? Thank you for joining. I don't think we have audio for you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so local outreach, <clears throat> um, just to catch you up, Misty, um, just wanted, uh, Joe's going to reach out to you about the upcoming national meetings so you can attend those um, and have all the details. Yes. So maybe after this meeting, we can uh, get a phone number or something where I can connect with you directly. Sorry, my dog took that moment to decide to bark. <laughs> <coughs> Um, okay, thank you. All right, so um, also up is planning for the 2023 local elections. Town elections are in process now. Um, so if that's something you want to run for town meeting member or some other town election or prepare for city elections, uh, we have resources for folks to do that. And certainly contacting, um, we will need to go and contact folks soon to encourage them to run. Steve, do you need any supporters or any way that we can help you with your Arlington election? Um, 
Well, I am not up for election this uh, this time around, but any folks who are in Arlington who are interested in running for town meeting should um, should definitely contact me. <laughs> uh, an email to info at masspirates.org will find me and uh, you know we'll talk some more because yeah, in a town there's you know town meeting membership turns over fairly quickly sometimes and uh, you know, it's always a uh, it's always a challenge to find the good ones to run. Thanks, Steve. So, if uh, are you not elected anymore? Are you appointed? I am still elected, but um, my next run for re-election will be next year. Sure. Okay. Um, just dealing with some technical difficulties, folks. Hey, Misty. I got it now. Can you hear me? Excellent. Welcome. Good to, good to chat. How are things with you? Uh, pulling a triple shift at work this week. Oh, man. Yeah. So the airport, uh, I guess the whole plane, whole airline system lost their uh, flight recording or something? Or Yeah, the FAA that... system went down, I think. Yeah, so that was a nightmare to deal with. I believe they cited a maintenance error. And Someone changed the wrong file, I heard. Yeah, and they an error with their, with their backup, too. Oof. Somebody. And then Canada had the problem, but I guess they recovered better. Somebody's in a lot of trouble. Accidents happen, complex systems and all. But yeah, you put in better you put in better processes to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Um, so Misty, we were discussing uh, me just connecting with you in order to get you um, into the national committee. Right. Yeah, um, I've been making it to some of the policy meetings, um, and then the last most recent one didn't happen last minute. Um. You mean the the meeting on this last Sunday? On Discord, uh, the policy discussion. Where was it? Oh, okay. So oh, sorry, platform committee, platform committee. Yes. So it's so as the representative, it's it's more the council meetings. So it's every Sunday at nine o'clock. Sometimes it's on Jitsi. Sometimes it's on. Um, Sometimes it's on Jitsi, sometimes it's on just on the the web chat, but I will try and make sure that I get you access to that. The platform committee is just a subcommittee that all pirates are invited to. Um, but as the representative, you would be the vote one who votes on our behalf for basically speaking. So, I mean, I was just trying to think what would Jamie say? and um try and go with that gotcha yeah uh yari said they're working on it too okay yeah i just want to make sure that at the end of today mm -hmm. i have your contact info so i can always send you over a link in case yari does not send it to you you got it joe yeah no it's like the the last one i think was this last sunday was recorded and the next one will probably be irc or something like that so Cool. Um, all right. Uh, so the only other item is the video newsletter podcast, otherwise known as Pirate News. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we recorded um, a segment on uh, public domain, the, this year's public domain day. Um, I. Can you all make this Sunday?
I will be there. You know I will. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, then I will go and schedule those, um, schedule that YouTube live stream then. Um, and with that, is there any other issues to discuss? Anything else to bring up? Uh, yes, Jamie, how do you feel about guns? Uh, my flip answer would be, uh, we're pirates. We, of course, we like guns. Um, I, gun, guns are a tool, and um, and guns have a history of being used for the enslavement of or subjugation of various peoples throughout U.S. history. Um, you can't exactly disentangle them, and uh, we need to make sure fewer people shoot themselves uh, because 60% of all gun deaths are suicides uh, or shoot others uh, in a way that also respects people's constitutional rights, um, albeit my personal viewpoint is the Supreme Court has an overly broad viewpoint of what the <coughs> actually allows yeah. but that's me you know they're overly broad in a lot of things and not broad enough on others i mean i would have to say in my personal opinion that thomas jefferson said best the moment that you need the guns is when they try and take them away I mean, that was certainly the case for African Americans during Reconstruction, right? There are a lot of state legislatures controlled by whites who wanted to take away their guns. So that, that's a that's a valid that's a valid point. But usually, it's white people wanting their guns to subjugate other people. So you know, so slave patrols have a long history in the United States. Thankfully, not in the last hundred years directly. I think slavery is still a very much a current issue um, worldwide. And so I think that that's actually a fight we haven't won yet. Uh, with human trafficking and all that. I think it's worldwide. I mean, look at what just happened. What was it? Qatar, where they were bringing people over from poor places and then basically enslaving them. So I, I think that's something that does need addressing at some point. Maybe now is not the time to fight that, but oh boy, that's a can of worms. Um, but going back to my original point is, uh, you know, if you look at all the mil worlds of the military combined, that's like what three million soldiers across the world, roughly the the largest, not kind of the U.S., but like China, Russia, and etc. Yet more hunting licenses are sold. It's like 3.7 million hunting licenses are sold every year in the U.S. We have a lot of guns. Oh, yeah, we do. So. I, I bring it to you, sir, not because I'm looking for a specific answer. I'm bringing it to you because, because it's definitely a question that's on many pirates' minds. And... You have always, again, both you and Steve have always been the voice of wisdom. So, uh, your both of your your judgments, I very much value. So. Thank you. And just so you know, the top five countries: uh, Russia, North Korea, United States, India, and the People's Republic of China. By number of soldiers have at least a million soldiers each so that's that's somewhere in the range of just those five uh have about seven million soldiers well thank you for that correction still that's from wikipedia three, yes <laughs> three million three point seven million hunting license sold annually that's three point seven million snipers in the u.s 
Potentially, yeah. Potentially. I don't uh, know. Typically, most of the guns are are a 308. <laughs> Just saying. I, I don't know, man. Where I grew up, there were lots of, I don't know, not so many snipers. There were snipers, but there were also lots and lots of plankers. <laughs> well, that, that is saying something about that community as well. Yep. <laughs> and with that, um, shall we adjourn? Motion. Aye. 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 And since there are no others, motion passes. I want to thank uh, the three of you for joining me in this. Our next meeting will be January 26th. Thanks, folks who are watching this not in real time. Um, you want to help with making this real time? We're always interested in doing that. Um, do contact us at info at massparts.org. Uh, and with that, I shall stop the recording.